right, Kyle, we are back for another week of PGA fun at the Caves Valley Golf Club in lovely, beautiful, gorgeous Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, last tournament of the year. Last tournament of the year, love it. Even though golf is all year long, but <laughs> technically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's going to be good. Um, all the top golfers in the world are going to be there. Some guys that we suck on weekly won't be there, like um, Adam Scott, Matt Wallace, who killed me fucking this week. He, they all missed the cut, so yeah, can't make it, can't hurt us. Excellent. And uh, Patrick Reed is in the hospital, pneumonia. Oof. Yep, so he will not be there. It did That's not wrong. say COVID, so I'm not positive of what's going on with that, but... Just said pneumonia. Okay. Nice little summer bout of pneumonia. <laughs> yeah, for old fat Pat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get right into the 10K and above here. Uh, starting off with the most expensive guy at John Rahm at, sitting at 11700 Going down to Colin Morikawa at 10K flat. In between those two guys, we got X-Man, Shoffley, Jordan Spieth, Justin Thomas, uh, DJ, Kepka, and then finally Morikawa at 10K. Uh, what do you think here, Kyle? Uh, Justin Thomas played really well last week. Um, yeah. I always like him, especially a course like this where ball striking is premium. Um, if he could get his putter together, Justin Thomas is always the play. And then John Rahm is just playing ridiculous golf. Uh, he's the most expensive golfer for a reason. I like John Rahm and JT. Yeah, I was uh, I was thinking John Rahm as well, but the 11-7 11, 11 is kind of scared me away a little bit. I might lay the juice in uh, one of my lineups. But uh, yeah, I definitely, I definitely think he goes low this week. And I think also uh, either Kepka or or Spieth also have a, a strong week here. But I'm leaning more towards uh, Brooks Kepka this week. I like it. Brooks always, you know, comes always to play. plays well in big tournaments. And Colin Morikawa um, is a guy I would love at this course. He fits it perfect. Yeah. But he's dealing with a back injury. Um, and that's why he's been playing shitty since the Olympics. Hurt mm. his back at the Olympics. Um, he's still going to try to. Japanese. He's going to try to play through it, but I'll be staying away from. Uh, yeah, old Colin definite Morikawa. stay away, especially at 10k. Yeah. And that brings us to the 9k, which starts with uh, Tony Finau, our winner from last week, uh, all the way down to Daniel Berger, at 9k. Um, who are you liking this week in the 9k, Scott? I am liking, uh, I just threw these two guys in uh, one of my lineups here. Louis Uwe and Danny Berger are my two guys in this range. I think Tony Finau is an absolute fade coming off of his uh, win last week. He, kind of, he got kind of a fluky situation going off on Monday with uh, like no crowd and after a ton of rain on uh, Sunday with that quote-unquote hurricane that we were supposed to get <laughs> up here. And uh, so, obviously, it's gonna the course is gonna be a lot drier this week. His place is gonna be packed with people. Uh, I think his his nerves are gonna probably get the best of him. He's probably gonna be in the probably still in the top forty, but I don't think he's gonna be near the top ten. I like it. I like your Louis Louis pick. Um, coming off the neck injury, I think he'll be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's not gonna scare me off him. Um, but I'll pick two different golfers. I like Bryson DeChambeau this week. Um, people oh, are kind it is of for, a bomber's course, it's and people are kind long. of forgetting about him. Um, Bryson's my pick to win the whole thing this week. Um, I think he bounces back, comes back, shows he's he's got what it takes. I think he wins this week, and then uh, Patrick Cantlay. He came in eleventh last week, like kind of under the radar. Had yeah, all his rounds were solid. Uh, just another solid golfer who I could see coming in the top 10 here. I Yeah, I like that as well. I mean, you could make – I probably won't end up picking anyone from the 10Ks just because the 9s are so stacked as well as the 8s. 
Eights are pretty stacked as well. We'll get right into those now. We got Scotty Scheffler at 8,900, and then we drop down. Hideki Matsuyama at 88. 87 is eight. Abraham Answer. Uh, Corey Connors is at 86. Uh, 8,400, we have Harris English. And then Sam Burns at 83. Paul Casey, 82. And uh, Joaquin Neiman at 81. Sung Jay closing off the 8Ks at 8,000 even. And there was a, one other golfer there at 8,500. Uh, but we don't, <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't need to We worry don't about name it. that guy. Um, yeah, this is a great range, like you said. Um, I'm sticking with Hideki. Yes. Uh, I've been rolling with him that. recently. He he didn't disappoint. He's still, what did he come in, 40th last week? Yeah. He did all right. Um, he's another ball striker extraordinaire. If he could just get the putter together, he'd be great. Uh, my second golfer is going to be Corey Connors. Uh, the guy's lights out, has been all season. I uh, just want him to culminate it with a great end of it. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm 100% with you on Corey Connors. And if I had to pick one more guy, uh, probably either a Neiman or maybe even a Paul Casey at 83, 8,200, actually. Paul Casey uh, is another one, just quick note. He lost like a million strokes with the putter last week, played well everywhere else so yes. that, that bodes yeah. well for him this week under undervalued this week for sure yeah uh and then sung jay at the bottom i i think he's kind of sneaky play this week absolutely yeah that brings us to the seven k's uh starts out the range at 79 with shane lowry and the seven k's are always the biggest range all the way down to maverick mcneely at seven thousand. um who are you liking this range scott uh i'll tell you what brian Harmon. Brian, Brian Harmon, I think he does really well this week. Uh, there's a, there's a ton of freaking guys in here. Uh, Camp Champ is coming in pretty hot as well. I'm glad you mentioned him. I like him a lot. Yes. Bombers course. Bombers course for sure. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Maybe, maybe Shane Lowry. Yeah, Shane, he's just playing excellent golf as recently. I'm surprised you didn't mention your boy, Vegas. Yeah, he's not been playing well, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny Vegas. Um, I kind of like Billy Horschel. Um, yeah. He's been playing some decent golf. Um, I do like, uh, I don't know, Cameron Tringali. He's been playing. I just don't trust him. He doesn't like pop as a guy who can win a tournament to me. Yeah. Um, but I really do like your Cam Champ pick. I think I'll be playing um, a good amount of Cam Champ this week. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, finishing us off with the 6K range, another enormous range here. Starting off with Mackenzie Hughes. And then scrolling all the way down to Robert Streb. <laughs> and then in between, we got some notable guys, old Stewie Sink, uh, Lee Westwood, Cam Davis, uh, Grillo, Mitchell, Palmer. Max Homa is pretty undervalued here at 6,400. And then we got old Bomber Phil. Uh, I think <laughs> if, I, if I had to pick anyone from this range, uh, and I – I don't plan to. I don't have any 6Ks in my lineups, but maybe Phil Mickelson or Max Homa. I, think yeah, I like those two. Solid picks for this range. What do you think, Kyle? Um, Lee Westwood, he's trying to make that Ryder Cup team. Uh, so I like the narrative for Lee Westwood to play well this week. Mark Leishman, another guy who can win tournaments, has yeah. proven. So at 67, there's some value there. Sebastian Munoz has shown some life towards the end of the PGA season. Um, I think there's value in uh, Sebastian Munoz. And then my last pick is going to be Keith Mitchell. Um, we played a ton of Keith Mitchell last season. Uh, this year he was playing terribly up until just recently at the 3M came in 5th, 55th at the Wyndham, and then 8th at the Northern Trust just last week. Yeah. Um, so I like Keith at a longer course um, this week. I Yeah, 1,000% agree. Uh, were you able to make a team? 
Yeah, and I'm actually adding Keith Mitchell right now. <laughs> and uh, let me see here. So uh, I stayed away from the 10Ks and started off with uh, Louis Uwe. And I had Daniel Berger, but you uh, changed my mind to Bryson DeChambeau. Uh, so thank you for that, if he does well. And then uh, we have Hideki Matsuyama, Cam Champ, Keith Mitchell, and who's my last guy? Uh, Harris English. Oh, I like that. Guy. We have, I have pretty one one hundred left on the table. So all nines and eights, and then I got a seven and a six as well. We have pretty similar teams this week. Uh, I'm starting off with DeChambeau. Mm-hmm. Uh, then have Patrick Cantlay, Hideki, Paul Casey, Sung J M, and my only player not eight K or above, Keith Mitchell. Keith Mitchell, there we go. You yep. sold me on him. <laughs> slippery. Yeah. It's a little slippery. Uh have you have you looked at the betting lines yet? Yeah, I'm I know at, everything's been delayed because of the uh the Northern Trust. The Northern Trust got pushed. Yeah. Um, uh, we but, do have some well, we have a bunch of tri cast, top five finish. Yeah, we got some stuff out here. I'll we probably be the, taking we don't have the the country finish, unfortunately. I'll see what DraftKings has. Sometimes DraftKings has uh, some good ones early. Um, but I will be betting a small bet on Bryson DeChambeau. I'll probably throw ten bucks on him. Ten bucks to win two sixty. In yeah, uh, old see, Bryson plus twenty six hundred. Yeah. That's that's very uh, respectable. Yeah. Let's see. So I like that. I got him at plus thirty three hundred on Bovada. Ooh, there, that's a, that's a lot better. better. That's a lot better. Oh, nationality props. They do have them. Excellent. Let's hear them. All right. So USA, we don't want because that's too risky. Asia. There we go. Hideki Matsuyama plus one twenty five. Sung J M is plus two hundred. Siwoo's plus three fifty, and K H Lee's plus six fifty. Uh, Hideki. Yeah, plus one. The only one I can see breaking that up is Sung Jay, possibly, but I like Hideki as well. Yeah, I think he does well this week. 100%. Ooh. Britain and Ireland. Rory, plus 150. Paul Casey's plus 200. Shane Lowry's plus 275. And Lee Westwood, plus 700. Should, I don't we, know. should we take I don't a, know. a small flyer on Lee Westwood as the <laughs> top Brit? I don't know. I can't see him beating out Paul Casey. I think Paul Casey's the play at plus two hundred. Yeah, I think I think I'm with you on that as well. Um, and then you could bet nationality winner. Is it U.S. U.S. or bust? U.S. is minus one fifty. Wow. Uh, I kind of like U.S. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Unless John Rom wins it. Yeah. That's the only thing. Uh, I don't think he's going to win this week. Yeah, maybe not. Um, win margin, you could bet on that. If you think it's uh, one stroke, that's plus 275. Two strokes is 300. Three strokes, 550. Four strokes or more, plus 275. That's a uh, tough one. Yeah. I don't know if I like that. No. Every It seems like every tournament's going to playoffs these days, so... One stroke is One looking stroke, pretty good at plus two seventy five. Yeah. Yeah. And then I this is another good one. Top player by college. What? Yeah. So we got DraftKings is crazy. Yeah. Top former Georgia Tech player. Oh my god. It's only two people. <laughs> Cameron Tringali and Stuart Sink. Ooh. I like Tringali there. Yeah. It's at minus 162. That might be a lock. That might be the lock of the week. Uh, top former Oklahoma State player, Victor Hovland, minus 120. Norin, plus 225. Gooch, plus 335. Gooch at 335 is not looking too bad. Hovland no, hasn't been not. playing well. No, yeah, yeah. Victor Hovland has not been playing well. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, then we got University of Texas player with Jordan Spieth, Scheffler, and Vegas. What's uh, what's Johnny Vegas at? Plus a thousand. Plus three fifty. He's not gonna hit that though. <laughs> How about this? I think this might be the play of the century. Mm-hmm. Bryson DeChambeau, top 20 finish, minus 150. I like that, yeah. I like that a lot. We might have to lock that one in. Yeah. We'll lock that in. And then we do have the head-to-heads. Um, Paul Casey's playing the uh, golfer who shall not be named. Minus 114 each. Ooh. I like Casey in that one. Yeah. Casey's been lighting it up. Yep. And then we got Rom versus Xander. There's some good matchups in here. Kokrak M. Justin Thomas Finau. There's some good ones. Yeah, I do too. I Um, don't think Finau follows up (laughs) last week with a with a particularly strong performance. I think he got his his What's his first win in how many years? A lot. A lot of years. So he's, yeah. he's going to be guzzling fucking liquor all day today. I just locked in my bet on DeShambo. Straight up winner. Locked Love it, it in. I also have some PFL bets out there, which I'm sending out the email for shortly. Very nice. Yeah, I like the card. The PFL is is money. Yeah. All right, you want to leave it at that? Yeah, and uh, we'll do our...